But now you're not serving him because you ain't post nothing in seven days. God doing his part. He bringing the people to you. But what you doing? You ain't been feeding the people. So how you going to ask God to bring you a people to sit at your table, but you ain't even putting nothing on the table for the people to eat? Oh, how you going to ask God to bring you the people to sit at your table and eat when he bring them? You ain't got nothing at the table for them to eat. You get what I'm saying? You and God had a mutual agreement. Fam, fam. It's Fetty G, baby. With SSK Kennels. <laughs> fam, listen, y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, family. Um, and y'all hit the notification bell to stay updated when I post, fam. It's been seven days since the last time I posted. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my man, John. I was going to already post a video today that I recorded the other day. But I'm going to record this one instead since John hit me with this one today. Shout out to John. John, part of the family. John wrote DM me on Instagram and said, fam, sorry to bother, but I need my YouTube videos. LOL. Need that knowledge, fam, but keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to get a dog from you soon, fam, as soon as I get a big yard. John, I want to say shout out to you, my brother. Today, well, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but... My to-do list ran all the way until tonight, and I didn't make it to what I was supposed to do today. What's been going on, y'all? My phone, my storage in my phone been full, y'all, from recording a bunch of videos, taking pictures. My storage is full, so I've been trying to delete stuff, move stuff to the laptop, to the computer, all type of stuff. So I freed up some space today, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but I didn't get around to it because all the other stuff I was doing pushed me all the way into the nighttime. Also, tonight, fam, at 7 o'clock, y'all make sure y'all tune in to Blood Talk Tuesday, tonight at 7 o'clock. I got to start advertising that more during my videos so people know, like, oh, on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, Fetty G, go live. So we go live on Tuesdays. It's called Blood Talk Tuesday. We get on there, fam. It's a platform for us to just discuss, go over whatever it is. It's a family congregation. We just get to sit down, talk about whatever it is. People ask questions. I ask questions, we we dialogue, we have different conversations. So tonight we'll be doing that. And then next week, y'all, I'm trying to get somebody to come on to the channel and speak to y'all about uh, genetics, bloodlines, about when it comes to Merle, right? So I found someone, she's super, super knowledgeable in that area. So I'm going to try to get her on for next week. But uh, what I want to share with y'all is, one, shout out to John for holding me accountable, holding my feet to the fire. And making sure I get this done today. Um, and I'm still working on my to-do list. I literally got to get out of here in a few minutes. I got to go get my son. Me and him got a haircut appointment. Um, so, um, again, my phone storage was full. So, what I want to say to y'all is, I, I was thinking about that this morning before I got this message from John. And I've been just trying to figure some stuff out in my life. I feel like I'm in a new phase in my life. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out what it is that I need to do moving forward in this next phase of my life. But this whole time, I have been trying to figure it out myself, what I need to do, what I need to do. And I'm like, man, I can't figure it out. I keep having, I keep hitting bumps in the road. I keep, and uh, I thought about it this morning. I'm in there brushing my teeth and I'm like, well, my storage on my phone was full, Right. So my phone wasn't working. I was missing calls. I couldn't record videos. I couldn't take pictures. And it hit me this morning and said, Fetty, you got a lot going on, right? You, you, you full right now. Your capacity of what you need to do or what you want to do is full. You're holding so many things. You can't put nothing down. Well, you're having a hard time putting stuff down to pick new things up. You're in a new phase. You're in a new place in your life. And you need to learn how to operate. From this point moving forward, and I was trying to hold on to all of the things that I used to, that worked in the past, trying to use those keys to unlock new doors. Same with my phone. All of those videos in my phone is, is old pictures, old videos. I need to get rid of them. I need to get rid of old things so that way we can record some new things. You get what I'm saying? And the key to my phone operating was me. Me going in, deleting some stuff, moving some stuff. But I was holding on the video. Oh, I really don't want to delete that one. I really like that video. I'm going to hold it. Or oh, I really like this video. It was like, Fetty, these videos is already on YouTube. You upload them, delete them, bro. Get rid of them so we can create new content for the people. And I thought about that same key to, to my life, right? 
I'm this phone is trying to maximize its full capacity or its full purpose. Uh in this new phase, it's I'm trying to record new videos, but I'm holding on to so many old things and I'm having a hard time recording new videos. Well, with my life, I'm holding on to so many old things that I need to let go of. Those keys don't work for this new phase of my life, but I was trying to figure it out myself. A long time ago, when I figured it all out and I was moving forward, I kept going to God. I kept asking God, what I need to do, God? What's my next step? What do you want me to do? What is the purpose for the day? What is the purpose for the week? What is the purpose for the month, for the quarter, for the year, for my life? What is my purpose? What do you need me to do? And so many people have been messaging me, y'all, about how I inspire them, how I uplift them, I motivate them, I'm pushing them. Just my wherewithal, my, I don't see that, but they see it. Now, granted, I know you know, I have a certain power or capacity within me, but I didn't know that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't know that my words had an impact on y'all that much. And in a lot of the videos where I'm really talking about my life or something that happened in my life, how I'm relating it to the dogs or God or whatever, I see a lot of people relate to that. And in the beginning, y'all, God told me, Fetty, yeah, you do dogs, you, whatever it is that you do with the dogs is cool. But the people that's watching these videos are legit humans. They are people with feelings that's going through things in life. They're dealing with day-to-day -day obstacles and adversities, and they're trying to figure things out as well. Yeah, they get on YouTube maybe just to escape, laugh, watch some dogs, or whatever it is, but they also dealing with real-life situations, and somebody else might be dealing with the same thing that you're dealing with, and you might have the words to help that person. And I used to always go to God, and he would give me a message to share to y'all. And this is the message he gave to me to share to y'all today. I had to go through and really let go of some things that I wanted to hold on to on my phone, videos, pictures. I had to let them go, move them to my computer. I had to go buy an external hard drive to, you know, put it over there. But I'm like, man, I had to get rid of those things so I can bring in new. I can bring in new videos like this one right here. So shout out to John. But my biggest thing is I was trying to. I was making it about my will and not what God will is, right? My will was, oh, I'll figure it out. I'll do it myself. I ain't going to delete that video. I don't got to delete that video. And the phone was like, well, all right, I ain't going to work then, shit, right? <laughs> and now I'm trying to figure it out on this path that I'm on in this new phase of my life without going to God. And God is like, all right, we'll figure it out. But his plan and my plan kept bumping into each other. And not only that, y'all, as some of y'all know that been really watching, I meditate. I try to meditate every day. I try to make sure I get alone and pray and spend some time by myself with God talking and stuff. And I have been straying away from it, y'all. I ain't been doing it as much as I used to. And I noticed that's when I start experiencing some turbulence in my life. And I feel like that's God trying to get my get my attention to for me to keep my eyes on him, keep my eyes fixed on the plan, the purpose that he got for me and not the one that I got for myself. You get what I'm saying? I'm out here doing things that I don't even really need to be doing. I'm out here talking to people that I don't even really need to be talking to people. I'm uh, holding on to things that I don't even need to be holding on to, but I don't know what's what sometimes because I ain't talking to God as much. And God is trying to find time to talk to me. But I'm so busy. I'm getting up in the morning. Before I used to wake up and just, you know, get myself together, brush my teeth, wash my face, boil me some tea and go outside, drink tea. That was my time for God. That was my time for myself. But now I wake up, I just brush my teeth, wash my face, drink the tea real quick and run in the backyard, do the dogs. And then from the dogs, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this. And God is like, okay, well, I know he going to wake up and, and, and sit down and talk to me. Okay, he got to do the dogs. I understand. Go ahead. Uh, he got to go take the kids to school. Uh, he got to go do this. Uh, he got a meeting. Uh, he got to go here. Uh, he got to reach out to his trucking company. Oh, uh, he got a meeting with this person. He And God is trying to find time for me, but I ain't finding time for him. So he had to rattle some things up. And hey, Fed, focus. Don't, you know, hey, yo, you can't find time for me. I'm going to make you find time for me. I'm going to shut your phone down. Now your phone don't work. Huh? I'm going to move this around. Now you're having problems over here. Now you're having problems over here. You get what I'm saying? But I was trying to figure them all out myself. So I'm saying that to say, one, I appreciate John for holding me accountable. 
it reminded me like, hey, Fed, the people need you. And that was the purpose from the beginning. Yeah, the dogs is cool, but I'm all here to serve y'all. I can't eat my own fruit, y'all. An apple tree don't eat its own apples. The apple bear the fruit for us. I bear in the knowledge and this information and, and this excitement and this joyfulness or whatever it is that I bring on this platform. It's for y'all. I can't enjoy it myself. My kids watch it. My friends watch it. Supporters watch it. And it's really for y'all. I can't eat my own fruit. And I stopped serving the people. This is my platform to serve the people. And I haven't been serving the people. I have been just trying to serve myself, trying to fulfill me, going after what I want, going after my desires and my dreams and my aspirations. Oh, I want to achieve this. Oh, I want to start this. Oh, I want to do that. And God is saying, Fed, that ain't for you. That ain't what I told you to do. The purpose is, is for you to do what you do with the dogs to reach the people. So you can help other people better their life, make better decisions, see what you've been through and recognize that it is possible. Right? Uplift, motivate, inspire, make people laugh, make people think about God, pray. Whatever it is, that's my purpose. That's what I'm here to do on this platform. Everything else that come with it, cool. The subscribers, the likes, the views, whatever, everything, I appreciate it. But that's not the purpose. The views, the subscribers, the, and I start letting the subscribers like, oh, I got 10,000 subscribers. I got this. The subscribers started really getting me like, oh, man, how much subscribers I'm going to get to. And it's like, Fed, that really, that's. This cool, it's important, yeah, you, but now you're not serving them because you ain't post nothing in seven days. God doing his part, he bringing the people to you, but what you doing? You ain't been feeding the people. So how you going to ask God to bring you people to sit at your table, but you ain't even putting nothing on the table for the people to eat? Oh, How you going to ask God to bring you the people to sit at your table and eat when he bring them, you ain't got nothing at the table for them to eat? You get what I'm saying? You and God had a mutual agreement. Fed, I'm going to do this. You do this. God upholding his part, y'all. I'm at 20, almost 21,000 subscribers. I ain't got nothing on the table for y'all to eat. How you do that, Fed? So, Fed, family, I love y'all. I really just wanted to get on here and share that with y'all. Uh, that experience and that, uh, you know, thinking about that today. It was like, man, Fed, you got to tighten up. So, uh I'm responsible to make sure this phone has space to record these videos and take these pictures and do what I do. I'm responsible for that. I can't expect nobody else to do that. I got to take accountability, accountability in that area and tighten up and do what I got to do. No excuses, Fed. When we started this thing, we said no excuses. We're going to hold ourselves to the fire. We're going to hold ourselves accountable and we're going to do whatever we got to do to get it done. To serve and feed the people. God bringing them, Fed. Now, what happened if God stopped bringing the people? Then you're going to be mad. Then you're going to be mad if God stopped bringing the people, Fed. Now you out here putting out all this stuff on the table to eat, but you got to eat it for yourself. Why? Because you didn't uphold your end of the bargain. So, God, I'm sorry. I apologize. I got to do better, fam. Now, am I perfect? I'm human, fam. So, y'all don't beat me down too bad. But I got to do better, fam. So, I love y'all. Uh, I hope this reached somebody. Man, y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, fam, and uh, let's get it done, fam. I got another video for y'all that y'all gonna love, too. Family, I'm out of here. I love y'all so much. Y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Is that you, Lord? I hear you, Lord.